today I'm going to talk about pig farming. Uh, I've been talking about other issues, but I will consider pig rearing. Pig farming is one of the best uh, lucrative business that once you embark on. This video is especially for beginners, people that intend to start a business in a pig farming. I, I welcome you to my channel. Subscribe to the channel. Hit on the notification button so that anytime I make an upload, you will be notified. This is a garden of Eden. My name remains Annie Obina. Pig farming. Why pig farming? Pig farming because it's a business that guarantees returns on investment. Every other business may fail, but not pig farming. So if you are intending to go into pig rearing, there are basic steps that you need to consider before venturing into this business. Is it a lucrative business? Yes, it is. When I started my farm about nine years ago, I bought one, I bought two numbers of pigs. One female, one male. I bought the female 20,000 error. I bought the male 20,000 error, making it a total of 40,000 error. After giving birth, sometime they gave series of uh, about two beds, give birth two times. I sold the mail, 40,000 euros. I sold the female, 40,000 euros. Selling this pig at rate of 40,000. I get 20,000 that I bought them already giving me my uh, investment. The thing keep on multiplying. I only introduce a uh, male to avoid inbreeding. So this is just to let you know that the business is a, a lucrative one. If you're a, new, a beginner, you want to start a pig farming. There are a lot of steps that you will take. One, you get to have passion. About five basic steps that you will take. One, you get to have passion. Passion for the business. If you don't have passion, passion, you will not be able to uh, do well in the business. The business is passion driven. Get to love the animal. Get to play with them. Touch them. Try to be with them. Give them food. Play with them. Always uh, like them. Stay with them. Passion. Two, after you have gotten the passion for the business, then you have to consider locations. Where am I going to site the business? Where am I going to put it that will not be a problem to the environment or the community? If you are putting this business in a place that is a dominated by Muslim, you are going to have problems. Location, the right place to site the business. When you have done that, another step you will take is to start small. Start small, step by step. I started with two numbers. I can tell you vividly that I've sold hundreds of pigs. But remember, I started with two numbers. 
start small, grow in the business. As you are starting <laughs> learning on the business, you advance. But by the time you want to learn every, you want to start it in a huge number, you may have problems. Gradually, you know where you are making mistakes, what to do to improve on it, the type of feeding, the how you give them water, how you uh, type of. You are going to let uh, going to learn a lot of things when you start small. Another factor is feeding. How do I feed them? I tell you, pig eats virtually anything eatable. Anything eatable. Anything any other animal can eat. Anything human being can eat. Pig eats grasses like cow. Pig eats any food. So what you need to do is what type of feeding am I going to give them based on your environment? For instance, if in your environment you have a source of corn, corn maize, or maize waste, give them that maize. If there is an environment that has to do with wheat, give them the wheat. You cannot go far a way to give, get them maize when you can get them uh, wheat around you. Feeding. What is the combination of the feed I'm going to give, uh, give the animal that will give me a good result? Remember, if you give them so much of carbohydrate or fat that is not balanced with protein and vitamins, your pig is going to have a lot of fat. And when the pig develops fat, selling it might be a problem. So, feeding. The type of feed I'm going to give them. Another very important uh, factor to consider in pig farming is the housing. Housing. Which type of housing are you going to provide? For a beginner, you can use some garden <coughs> tree, cut some sticks, make some uh, house for them, 10 feet by 10 feet, or 10 feet by 8 feet, or 10 feet by 12 feet make house as they keep on growing and multiplying you keep on expanding and one other important thing you have to consider while you are building the house is the temperature you are going to build the house in a place where the temperature will not be too high you can see in this environment you can see here vegetable food vegetable this is orange this is uh, on the other side these are orange. So all these things provide very good temperature for the animal. No matter the hotness of this weather here, no matter how the here, the animals, the temperature here is always low because of the environment. If you put your farm where there is very hot sun, where there is directed to the sun much, the animal is going to have problems. They will not do well because of heat. Look at the ceiling, the roof. I use as vessels because this uh, uh, type of roofing, it does not, it absorbs heat. It absorbs heat from the sun and prevents it from reaching the animal. So at every time here is always a cool. So these are factors that you will consider. The good houses, the location, the environmental factors. And then another one important thing you will consider in pig farming is water. You must have a very good source of water, available good source of water that the animal can play with. Water they can always play around with. Here now, I can give them water. This is my water. I give them, they take this water, drink this water, play with this water. 
So you must make sure you have a very good source of uh, water for the animal. You can see them playing on it. See them playing on it. When you put water that, like this, they will be so excited, they will like it, they will play with it. The temperature, it lowers the temperature, reduces the temperature. Lastly, there are a lot of factors, but for a beginner, you have to start. When you start, you also have to discover your market. Market. Pigs are being sold based on weight. Pigs are being sold based on weight. So if you have a good market, if you have a good market, as soon as the pigs are mature, reach certain cages, you will be able to uh, market to your animals. Mostly here in Nigeria, uh, we uh, normally sell from 50 kg and above. And the last factor I want to let you know about pig is feeding. Feeding is very, very important. When you are feeding the animals, As you are feeding them, they add weight. They add weight. And the more you feed them, the more they gain weight. But the moment you stop feeding them, they are, will start losing weight. Whatever feed that you give them to recover the initial weight, is lost. So the feeding, the weight gain has to be incremental, consistently incremental. As every time you are feeding them, you feed them in the morning, feed them in the evening, they keep on gaining weight. And this gain in weight must be maintained. Any decline in the weight is a loss. Any feed you provide to them to make them regain the initial weight is a loss. So I appeal to you again, subscribe to my channel, hit on the notification button so that anytime I make an upload, you'll be notified. Stay tuned. In the subsequent videos, I'm going to uh, talk about feed composition. I'm going to talk about how you feed them. The, the, the what you, where the container, the feeder, how you can, you can make local feeder for the animal. And I'm also going to talk about the three sheep, the large white, the land race, the black white, the, the, uh, the large white, the land race, the large black, and the guru, and so many other species. So stay tuned, get connected. Thanks for watching.